video, I'm going to show how to assemble this new keyboard, which is a drop-in replacement keyboard that I built uh, into a brand new Atari 130XE and replace that 04, 04 vintage keyboard that comes with it. Um, don't worry, that keyboard will be reused, at least the caps will be. So first, let's open it up. And of course, we don't want to void the warranty. So we are going to very, very carefully peel off the warranty label because it would be absolutely terrible if you voided the warranty on that decades old 8-bit computer. I'm sure I can contact Atari and send it back to them. So very carefully with an exacto knife I'm just inserting a plastic bag under it to prevent it from uh, re-adhering. Uh, uh, it's off. Victory. This is an original. <sighs> Alright, so we can remove the little bit of glue that they put on top of the screws and then proceed to do the same with the second warranty protection label. Same method. Success. Remove the glue and then we can unscrew the top. I'm wearing gloves because there is a shield inside that is very sensitive to fingerprints and I don't want to damage it in any way so might as well wear the gloves. So four screws to remove and we can then remove the top of the box. And we can extract the original membrane keyboard by very carefully pulling the membrane connector out. And the new keyboard plugs in exactly. It has a little PCB, a very thin PCB that can plug into the original connector. There is no need to do any nasty modifications uh, to your motherboard. It just plugs right in. There you go. So this is not the final adapter. There will be one that makes the cable management a little easier. Not that it's complicated, but let's turn this computer on and see how we did. Turn on with the option key depressed. And we are booting into the self-test mode and we can use the keyboard, the new keyboard, to go into the keyboard uh, test screen and we can verify that some of the keys work so we can do some basic testing but one of the first uh, keys we are going to test is the reset key but before we do I'm testing the four function keys using a wire because I didn't connect any switches on those Alright, so the reset key works and we can type a little program, verify some basic um, instructions here. So that verifies the general um, behavior of the keyboard. Very complicated program here run that and then we can use the break key that is now moved to the bottom right of the keyboard all right so let's go back to the diagnostics mode and go back to keyboard and let's test all those keys all of them so this is accelerated five times but everything works exactly as uh, desired including the shift and control keys all right, so we can see how it looks like with the, the cover back on and everything fits perfectly uh, and the backlighting effect is absolutely lovely. And well, let's do a little typing test. 
Excuse my French. I'll shut up and let you listen to this nice ASMR keyboard sequence. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, also the, the arrow keys function well, which is important. Bye!